Hi everyone, it's AJ from AJ's Personal Touch, or Anjanette, if you're used to calling me that from wherever we met. Welcome to my new subscribers, and welcome back to those of you who've been with me. I am like, what is it, six people away from having 100 subscribers? Yay! Um, I do want to have a giveaway when I hit 100, but I don't know if it will be right away when I hit 100, because I just found out today that I have to have surgery on December 23rd. So I have a lot to get done before then. I also said in my last video that I really wanted to try and do vloggers this year. Surgery kinds of puts a hamper on that because even if I really tried, I can't vlog on Christmas Eve. So, or not Christmas Eve, <laughs> Christmas Eve Eve, the 23rd. The day before my birthday. So, I will see. I will see if I remember to come on and do it tomorrow. I forgot that tomorrow started December. I just have so much to get done now. Oh. I usually work a lot on the 23rd and the 24th to finish up presents. I'm not going to be able to do really anything on the 23rd. I'll be able to the 24th because I'm not going to really be able to get up and get around to do much. Um, but hopefully I'll have most everything done by then. But we'll see. I've got so much to do. And um, we'll see. Why well, I came on here, and I only want this to be a few minutes tonight because I don't have long. I'm exhausted. I've been, I had doctor's appointments early this morning, and was on the phone off and on all day um, scheduling my surgery and all these different things. So yesterday my knit crate came. Yay. And this is my last surprise knit crate unless I decide to mark it as a, anything goes and to get a surprise colorway. But otherwise I'm going to be picking my colorways from now on since they're giving us that, you know, chance again. Um, if they ever decide to ask me if I want a knit crate, you know, like they do other people on YouTube, you know, I would take a free one, but I'm already paying for one. So, um, I want to start picking out what colorway I have. I did anything goes for, I would do it like almost every month unless I saw a month where I just had to have a color and then I would, you know, pick that color. But lately, every month, there's always like one or maybe two colors that I really like. So I found that when I did Anything Goes and I had two colors that I really, really liked and one that I didn't like the most, that happened to be the month that I would get the, you know, one that I didn't like the most. So um, I already have so much Knit Crate yarn and I do want to use some of it for the holidays. I plan on making a hat out of um, some blue that I got from my brother because he, my brother has, oh, has my dad's eyes. I always wished that I would have gotten my dad's eyes. My dad has the most gorgeous blue eyes. And my brother has even a more gorgeous, <laughs> if that's a thing, blue eyes. Um, his are icier blue, the kind that kind of pierce you. Um, not extremely icy blue, but when you get just the right color, it'll make them pop. And this knit crate color of blue uh, will really make his eyes pop. So, um, yeah, I want to make him a hat. Even though I know he will be working in wood, um, shoveling snow, and those that's the only time he ever wears a hat, I know he'll never wear a scarf. So I figured I'll make him a hat. And even though it's going to be used for chores, that's okay. Um, at least I still made it for him. And if he decides to wear it some other time, you know, that's fine too. He loves to have his hair just perfect in a certain way. So, um, but yeah, I, I want to do that for him. And um, it's okay because it happens to be the month that they sent me the yarn that was stuck to the... Um, 
to the, the tape on the bag. So they, you know, sent me yarn to replace that. So the yarn is salvageable that, you know, was stuck to the tape because there was only a little bit that was stuck to it. So um, from all the skeins that had been messed up from that, I can still use, you know, the other part that's left. And I have two messed up skeins of blue, so I should have enough for half. So, yeah. So now I have cut it open. It's time to open my knit crate. I recycled one of these boxes the other day, and it's what I sent my first order out in. I got my um, the two infinity scarves done, and I sent them out. So oh, it's so gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. I know I showed you what the one looks like down here. The other one looked exactly like it. I blocked them both, and it brought the lace out in them, and they were just so gorgeous. I can't wait till my friend gets them and sees them. She's excited. She's already got plans on what she wants me to make um, one of her other daughters next year because I plan on making a sun hat for myself. And when she heard that, they live in Hawaii, and she's like, oh, we have so many sun hats. And then when she saw the design that I plan on making, she's like, I want that, I want that. So, <laughs> so yeah, it sounds like um, I won't be just making my sun hat. I'll be making another one as well. Hey, I can't see the yarn yet. It is covered. I'm just dropped out though. This is Knit Crochet Crochet Knit. Tea time. Would you care for a cup of tea? Our tea time theme this month offers a cup of comfort in a variety of colorful shades. From the delicate colors found on fine china to the bolder shades of both streaming hot and refreshing iced teas. You're sure to have a delightful afternoon cozying up with this month's yarns. Hold your own tea party as you sip and stitch these autumn days away. And guess what fell out? It's been my tea. Looks like a tea bag. Yep. This is Tea with Tay. And Tay is spelled T-A-E. And it's called Winter Bliss. And it's a black tea with caffeine. Let me see. Ingredients. Pat my tay. White tea. Ceylon black tea. Chinese green tea. Almond and coconut flakes. Oh, yum. Cinnamon chips infused with chocolate. Hazelnut and almond flavors. Oh, my goodness. This sounds so, so good. Oops. Limited edition. They have extras of this online. I may have to order some depending on how much they put. Oh, I can only smell the bag, but oh, I love tea. I love, I love, 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 love tea. A good cup of tea and I've been sitting here so cold tonight thinking I need to make a cup of tea. I used to love coffee like that but now I'm really into tea and different flavors of tea and what new one can I find and especially chai teas. I love to find the flavored chai teas. Mm, yum. Okay here we go. Got a little sneak peek. I think maybe not but you see it first. There it is. Oh, yes, it's purple. At first I thought it was brown. That's why I said maybe not because then as I opened it, it looked more purple. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. This is butterfly pea flower. Oh my goodness. You know, I looked at the colorways, but I do not remember it saying the name was butterfly pea flower on one of these. Or I would have for sure wanted this one, this particular one. Oh, anything to do with butterflies, and I want it. And it reminds me of my grandma. Now, this would be perfect to make my friend something. But since it says butterfly, I think I may just have to make myself something. Look at that. Oh, you luscious. Oh, my goodness. Let me read. It's a you. you Yuru yarn. Uh, 
45% Cuyacaya alpaca, 45% Surya alpaca, 10% uh, Selena, super bulky weight. This is soft. This is like so soft it's taking the moisture out of my hands soft. But I dealt with that last year to make myself a cowl out of um, a Ewer yarn that we got. I may just have to deal with it this time too. This is too pretty for me to... Um, I'll go to my to stash along and I will put it in there and try to um, trade with somebody. And um, yeah, I don't want to trade this. I want to keep this. I will just have to deal with it because honestly, I'm getting a little bit used to it. And maybe one of these days I'll be able to work with all of the different soft yarns. But because of the yarn that I'm making the dog sweater with, I'm starting to get used to it because it takes all of the moisture out of my hands. The smaller DK white that I'm making the hats out of, I've been doing okay with. But when I started using the worsted white, I have to use a lot of hand lotion with it. Look at this. I have to show you this. I am so stinking proud of this. This pattern was made in just one color. And that's all they showed it in. And since she wants the dog sweater to match the hats, I have to make it a two color pattern. So look at this. I've been striping it. Isn't that so cute? And I've been trying to do like larger and then bursts of small because that's what their hat does. Is that like a large off-white and then smaller with the green um but i got more green than i got off-white for the dog color because i had to get more of one because of how much i needed so one of them i needed to get three hanks of and the other one or donuts of because these are in the donut shape and two i needed to get for the other so i did green for the one i needed three of because um i was like okay it's gonna be on a dog and so it would be better to have more green on a dog than off-white, um, especially when it comes to getting dirty. So, and this has to be hand washed. And they're going to be in a they're in a climate where they're not going to need it very often for him. So, or actually, I think it's a her. I think the doggies are her. So, but anyway, this is the back. Now that this is the the front panel, the panel, and I just started working on the other panel that goes around and will come all the way around. So yes, oh my goodness, just a little bit more and it'll be done. And when it's done, I will post it on Instagram. Um, if I'm vlogging, I will show it on here before I send it out. But if I'm not. And I'll show it on Instagram. And with that, we are at 13 minutes. I'm going on 14 minutes. And I am going to get out of here in just a minute. Um, I just thought I would explain a little bit more of what I need to do um, for my surgery. Because um, I know it's surprising a lot of people when I said, oh, I've got to have surgery. Um, what it is, is I have a pain pump in. And I think I've talked about it on here before. And it's because of my chronic pancreatitis. If I didn't have a pain pump, I would not be able to sit here and talk to you at all. Um, I would be lucky to get some crocheting done um, and not be laying down all day long because the pain is so, so intense. And since all uh, the government relate, um, not relation, the government restrictions on opioids and things, um, I can't use the treatment that I had before, which was basically taking my opioids every day and not overdoing it. And it sent me to a pain doctor who deals with pain pumps. I do get, in my pain pump, I get um, Diflucan, but they give you such a little minute amount because it goes straight into your spine. 
and so therefore it exacerb exacerbates the um, the drug. It makes it more potent as far as getting rid of your pain, but you don't get the brain fog that you would get with taking it orally, um, and you don't get the dizziness and things. You can still drive. You can still do things that people on opioids can't, which is one reason why I had to stop driving and another reason why I think I'm ready to start, but nobody else around here agrees with me yet. As soon as they do, I will be driving again. Wait, I'm working on it. I am making more dinners. I have started baking. I made chili tonight, second pot of chili this year. Um... I wanted to bake today as well, and the only reason why I really didn't bake, well, two reasons. I had to get my shots today, my Cabanuva for my HIV, and um, with that, you get a shot in each, <laughs> each butt cheek. <laughs> fun, fun. And I have been having sciatica issues um, start to crop back up within the last couple months. Um, some of it doing with my low back issues that I've had to get my epidurals for. Um, you know, I've got to put some lotion on my hands because oh, at least I thought I was going to, but I can't see my thing of lotion. Um, I think I threw it in my bag. Anyway, um, I had to get my shots today for my cabanuba. Oh, and I was talking, I was having issues with sciatica. And um, I was doing better since I had my, um, my last epidural. But every couple days, I get a little sciatica issue, especially when I lay in my bed. And especially lately when my cat decides to lay on my legs while I'm in the bed because I'm usually on my side and she's like more like up on my hip and um, she weighs quite a bit. So yeah, <laughs> um, that affects me a lot. So I have been doing all things that I know to do from being a massage therapist, self-massage, on my glute muscles, um, sitting on this ball for my glute muscle that I know is the one that is so tight um, that it needs to be loosened. And wanting to scream a little because it hurts, I usually, I would tell people to get a tennis ball and sit on the tennis ball because it has give. And then I had found, um, those balls are called magic balls, and they come with a book about where to place them to help which muscles, but I basically kind of know that already. I looked through the book to see if there was anything that I didn't know, and there wasn't. So, um, so yeah, I know most of the areas for it. It's just she uses them all over the body. I usually just use it for the, the butt cheek and um, for the bottoms of the feet for people with um, plantar fasciitis, which I have had dealings with myself. And yeah, um, I can't find the one cream I was looking for. Anyway, um, I'm like, can't get my mind off of things like that when I see that I can't find something. <laughs> I'm like a dog with bone. Yeah, I didn't tell you here, squirrel. <laughs> anyway, um, when they gave me my shot today, it's like my sciatica issues just came back tenfold. But the walk to the car helped a lot. I started walking it out. And then I came home and I didn't just like lay down. I was doing things and I was walking and to where all that's gone now. So that's a good thing. Um, but my low back started hurting while I was making the chili and doing the dishes and that was the thing. I used to only be able to get up and do dishes. Now I'm getting up and doing the dishes, making chili, um, doing other things with it. And like I said, I wanted to bake, but I have this to get done and I really want to get it done. I wanted to tonight, but I am like extremely exhausted. But um, my shows are on tonight. The one I'm missing right now while I'm talking to you. Um, 
the three different FBI shows that are all in one night. I like to watch those. I usually tape them. I have not been taping them right now during Christmas because I've been taping a lot of the Christmas movies on Hallmark to watch when um, I'm taping. So, yeah. Um, so anyway, all that was going on today. So I didn't get to bake today. So maybe tomorrow. Um, I'm hoping to get some cookies done this year. I used to be the person who baked at Christmas time, like a couple dozen of like seven to eight different cookies. So I used to have a big container that's full of cookies. And then I would take them between my work, my husband's work, giving them as gifts, taking them to my mom's for Christmas Eve or my brother's if he had it, you know, just giving them away to people. And, um, yeah, haven't done that in a while, but I at least want to make one or two cookies this year. One of my all time favorite is toffee bars. So I need to have my husband get me two of the Supreme, um, delight dark chocolate bars that the big ones, the big, big bars. Um, and then I can make like one or two pans of toffee. It doesn't take long to make the toffee at all. It's only a couple ingredients and it's so good. And then once you pull it out of the oven, you, um, you've already broken up the chocolate bars and you put the little squares over the top of it spread out and then, then it melts. And so you get that nice thick coating of chocolate on top and let it set to the little cools and then you cut into it and it's just all, oh, so yummy. So I would like to make those and I would like to make some chocolate chip or dark chocolate chip cookies. So, and, um, I have to go tomorrow to get my COVID booster. So I'm actually going to be in the store, which I never get to do. Um, I need to find some safety eyes. Oh, cause that's something else that I made. I took this bag with me. Thanksgiving to my aunt's house and I made, let me find it for you. I think, oh, no, I say, I think it was in the bag, but I made this little gingerbread man. And to me, sometimes when I look at him, he looks more monkey-ish than gingerbread. And I think that's because I use the ice cream yarn in the browns. Now I did the back in a tan color because I couldn't find my dark brown and I just found that the other day. So today while I was in the doctor's office, I started making, do I have it still attached to here? No, no. There's my lotion I was looking for. Um, it is, I think I put them in my bag that I've already transferred back over to use right here. Use for the, um, dog sweater. Yep. Here we go. I've already made one side. These are really simple. And once you learn how to make it, you don't even need to have the pattern with you anymore because they are so simple. The thing is that she tells you to weave in the ends, which if I was going to hang just part of this up, I would do that. But since you put them together back to back, um, yeah, I'm not going to weave in all those ends when I can just have them go in between the, the sandwich of gingerbread. And here's the head for the second one. I'm going to do this one all the same color. So it comes out right. The thing that happened last time is because the ice cream yarn is a little bit smaller than this. And this, I'm just using the Just Yarn. Um, you get it at Dollar Tree. I got a couple of those. And, um, yeah. And that's a bigger worsted. I think a little bit, maybe more. I think it's a regular size worsted. I was going to say along the lines of Aaron, but I think the ice cream is actually closer to uh, um, a, a three weight 
than a four medium weight. So, um, so yeah, I, uh, I'm going to make one like that. But the thing is, is that these safety eyes that I have are too big for, for this. They should be at least a size smaller. And I mean, look at this. They can actually point out the back if I let them. I keep poofing it out, trying not to let it, and thinking, oh, I should have put a little bit of filler in there um, just for that. And I think that's why it makes me think of a monkey, because every time I poop it out, this comes out. But I loved embroidering the little mouth. Look at that. See the mouth? And I love the color. That's from the cotton. Um, Just Cotton by Premier. I love this color. I could have found some red, which is what it called for, but this claret, claret or claret, however you say it, is just perfect for a mouth. I use that. And then I use my black sparkly to make buttons here. Because you're supposed to use safety eyes here, bigger ones up here and smaller ones down here. Um, but since this is the only size I had. I didn't want to use them down here too, so I just embroidered it. And I think that the one I'm making right now, when I finish it, I'm just going to um, embroider the eyes and the mouth. And then um, go from there. So it's just such a simple, simple, easy pattern. Let me see who wrote it. Pattern is in here. I got it off of her web page. Let's see. Actually, I don't think I got it off of her web page. I was going to and then remember that I got it in a blog hop this last month. Repeat cap. Repeat Crafter Me. I've made a couple of her things now. Um, she shows using it with the Bernat Super value. I've got one of these on my wish list, so I'm hoping this Christmas I get a whole bunch of different safety eyes and stuff so I have them for making even the groomy and things. Until then, I did use to embroider, so I make the faces myself. Which, um, for babies, that's a good thing. I just don't want to do it for everybody. Now, I do have, let's see if I can reach this. I think it's in here. I see it. I do have this dark brown that I think I'm going to make a couple with, too. And this is a worsted eight yarn from, um, Hirschner's. Yeah, I think I'm going to make some in, in this. I don't have the in between. I don't have the lighter brown that goes in between the um, the beige tan color and then the dark dark brown. So that's okay. I have a very great dated one, which is a hand dyed um, yarn that I was thinking of using to make little. Um, I have those gingerbread cat and gingerbread dogs and um, just little gingerbread people and I want to make some of the gingerbread cats and I'm thinking of using that because I think it would look really really good and I'm thinking of making it for my daughter so to me that's okay if I use a more high-end yarn to make an amigurumi for her um, and maybe one for myself and my mom we'll see I think that's what I'm gonna do with it though um, Unless I think of something else like a hat or scarf or something to use it for. I got it. It's a Mace of Skeins yarn. And she had um, her Christmas colorways that she had just a little bit off. And she couldn't sell it because it didn't meet her quality control. She called them her Misfit Toys last year. And so I got it from there. And it was her reindeer, reindeer something color. It had something to do with reindeer. So. Yeah, so there you go. And now I'm at 30 minutes and I'm gonna hop off of here because I was only gonna be on here for a couple minutes and I was so thrilled when I was done at 13 and decided I needed to talk and then 
I get off on tangents, which I'm sure you guys all know that by now. So I hope you all had a very, very, very happy, relaxing Thanksgiving, and I hope you're getting ready for Christmas. And uh, I was so looking forward to my birthday this year, but it's the day after surgery, so Christmas Eve is going to be spent at home on my butt out here on the couch because I'm not going to be <laughs> in my bed for Christmas Eve. So, okay, I will talk to you guys later. And remember, what? Huh? Yes, you all matter. You all matter. You all matter to me. You're all beautiful. And just please go out there. Stay safe. Take care of yourself. It is so scary with this new variant coming, which is why I'm getting my booster tomorrow for my COVID shot. And that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to, you know, you do you. You do what you want to do, what you don't want to do. Um, I just got to take care of me. And for me, that means getting the shot because as my doctor keeps reminding me and reminded me this morning, if I get it, she's afraid I will not make it and I will end up going to the hospital and never coming home. So for that reason alone, I'm making sure I get my, uh, my, then. so booster tomorrow. And then I'm all up to date on that. And then I get my shingles booster in January. So fun stuff. And I will talk to all of you later, 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 maybe even as soon as tomorrow. I need to make a note on my computer. It's vlogmas. <laughs> anyway, I will talk to you later and have a wonderful, wonderful night. See you later.